It would be amazing. Uh, Mark Benioff, who's in town, by the way, uh, suggested once I buy a book called Ghost Fleet, which is really, I would urge people to go buy Ghost Fleet. It's the most realistic novel I've ever seen about the situation. Uh, look, I, I think that there is uh, the upgrade on Nokia today, which specifically says that Nokia could be a winner in the situation for telecom equipment if, if everybody kind of switches away from Canada, I mean from China. I do think that going after Canada is the loser. Canada is a love country worldwide. Canada's never done anything wrong. People like Canada. Well, they've invested a lot in uh, Africa and Latin America. Yeah, and they have a, uh, 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 they have their head of government, which who's an internationalist. He's a globalist. David, he's a globalist, not a nationalist. Who's a globalist? Trudeau. He's a globalist. Yes. And they have the former That's editor of the Financial that Times. That's a derisive a term in some ways. You know that. Oh, in the New World. Yeah, but yeah. The, how about Chris, Chris Freeland? She's, Freeland, remember her from the Financial I, Times? I do. She's, she's a, a you know, number two there. Yeah. She's, a, she's a distinct globalist. So the Chinese going after the globalists is a mistake because the Europeans are very global. A good I'm point. just saying, yep. don't mess with Canada. Are you kidding me? You can mess with the United States. You mess with Canada. You mess with guys. No one thinks that Canada's bad. I mean, come on. Who knows? Who thinks Canada's bad? You got anybody you know, anybody that doesn't like Canada? I like Canada. I love everybody Canada. Everybody likes Canada. Can no, Jim, everybody been, likes They're not going to let hockey. It's about hockey. I haven't been there in a while. The Canadians like will not be able to play in Beijing. At the big board today, ringing the bell, it's medical device maker, the Cooper Companies, celebrating its uh, 35th listing anniversary at the NASDAQ. It's Amdocs, provider of software and services to communications and media companies.